President Obama says that climate change poses a serious threat to health. He spoke with our Dr. John LaPook, who joins us right now. John. Scott, research suggests heat waves can increase ground level ozone and help set off an attack of asthma. In 1980, just 3% of the U.S. population had asthma. By 2010, that number was over 8%, or 26 million people. The president is pushing to educate people that climate change can affect them personally. Mr. President, studies suggest most Americans don't connect global warming or climate change with their own personal health. Right. Why do you think that is? Well, I, you know, because it's not as obvious as some of the environmental uh, issues uh, of the past. With climate change and rising temperatures, some of the effects are slow in uh, registering in the minds of the public. But what we know is this, uh, the planet is getting warmer, the science is indisputable. As a consequence, we know that wildfires are going to be uh, more frequent and uh, longer in intensity. That means more particulates in the air, that's going to have respiratory impacts on people. When I have a patient come into my office with asthma and they're wheezing, yeah. they want their inhaler. Of course. They don't want to hear about some long-term solution. Yeah. You have two daughters who are teenagers. Are you thinking long-term? Because of them, are you some, is that somehow part of the equation? Well, you know, Malia, uh, early on, when she was young, uh, uh, had uh, asthma. And uh, we had to visit the emergency room once. Uh, so I, I'm a dad like everybody else. I've seen how scary it is when your kid comes up to you, your four-year-old, and says, uh, I'm having trouble breathing. Did that bring it home for you with Malia that well, this is affecting my daughter? I'm going to do something about it. You know, there's no doubt about it. In the same way that uh, I think there are families right now in, in South Florida who see two feet of water coming into their house every time it rains and start thinking, you know what, uh, rising temperatures and rising ocean levels uh, are going to affect my property. Part of what I'm trying to communicate here is that there is a cost to inaction. One reason for the new initiative may be that climate change legislation has stalled in Congress. The president told me, Political will typically does not come from the top down. It comes from parents and communities who say, let's go ahead and do something about this. John, thank you very much.